sometimes you want to scroll something that you can't really find a pattern for or you can't find a pattern that you like or one that may be not in your price range so you find some images or some graphics or whatever or even make your own but you have to consider okay if I'm gonna scroll this what how can I scroll this so that it doesn't fall apart in other words you need to have you need to leave what are, what are called bridges in between some of your lines and some of your cuts of some graphics that's the thing you have to consider when you're designing or drawing a pattern or even modifying something that you found somewhere else that you think looks pretty cool well such is the case with something that I did a few years ago but I did it as a as a freehand router carved sign now the the thing about doing a freehand router carved sign is you don't go all the way through the wood so you don't have to worry about it falling apart so you can just cut all the lines that are there but if you want to scroll it it's a little bit different so that's basically the premise of today's video is how do I take one of these images and convert it into something that's scrollable well follow along with me and I'll show you I found this family tree a few years ago it's just the heart with the family tree in it and I liked it but a guy used a water jet and cut that out of metal so I borrowed this picture borrowed in quotes and I also flipped it so that it's not exactly like his I modified it further because I found this banner I think it was in PowerPoint I found this banner and overlaid it onto the top of the heart so I want to scroll this so if I'm gonna scroll this I don't have it glued down right now it's just sitting on the board the chair over so I don't wobble so, so if I want to scroll this how can I scroll it without <clears throat> everything falling apart because if I scroll all of these lines around here unless I'm going to do this in a layered cutting if I want to just cut this all at once then if I scroll out that banner that's going to fall apart and I'll have the top of the heart left and I'll have the bottom of the heart so I'll have three pieces and then I'd have to worry about gluing that onto a backer well you can do that but I don't want to I want to keep this all one piece so what do I do how do I go about modifying this so that it's scrollable without falling all apart also these lines there's too many of these I mean, I could cut them, but why? Uh, there's just too many, and I don't really need that many to get the effect that I want. So, first thing I'm going to do, you can use whiteout. I'm not going to use whiteout. Uh, you can use an electronics program and do this too, but I'm, I'm not that good and that patient. I mean, I could put it in GIMP, and I could work on it for a few hours, and... And, and make it work but I don't really want to do that well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and I'm going to paint over this first black mark so I'm not going to cut that one and I'm not going to cut the second one So now I'm left with three, and I'm going to leave this thing in here and cut it out, but I want to make it just a little bit smaller so that it matches better. You don't need to be perfect with this just to give you an idea of how you want to do it. So that's that side. I need to do the same thing with this other side. Like I said, you can easily choose to do this in a graphics program. And I can do it as well. 
and then one more. <coughs> now I'm gonna do the same thing down here. So you just turn it over that So I'm just gonna do the same thing, And I will do the same thing on all of these over here. And I'll continue that up here as well. But we still have that problem is with if I make these cuts, this banner is going to fall out. So how do I determine where I want to bridge? Well, basically, what I'm going to do is I will make this cut in some places but not make it in others uh, for example I'm going to wipe that out so now I know I'm not going to cut that and I'm not going to cut it here either I want to leave as much connective tissue as I can <clears throat> I will cut some of this so you get the idea of what it is. You dummy. I will let this run under here a little bit. But I won't cut there. And I won't cut here. I'll run under this side a little bit as well. And I will run under this side a little. sides but then I'll leave that bridge there and I'll do the same thing over here side I probably will I'm just giving you an idea of, of what to do here now another con another confusing part about this pattern could easily be okay I'm cutting out everything that's black so does that mean I'm cutting out everything that's gray no I'm not going to cut out everything that's gray I'm going to leave I'm going to treat everything that's gray like it's white and I'm going to treat all of this inside white like it's black so it will be cut out. I will just leave the filigree portion of the heart. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll cut in a little bit on each side. And I can, I'll cut in to about here on both sides. That will leave me a pretty decent chunk of wood there. So that's how I'm going to treat this part. And I will I will finish painting my white stuff off camera. You've seen where I went so far and I will continue that process.
but so that I don't get confused about what I'm going to cut away and what I'm not, I'm going to take a black sharpie and I'm just going to make marks in here so I know this all gets cut out so I don't confuse myself. And this is where I'm going to drill my pilot holes. So when I'm through painting all the white, I'll know exactly what I need to do to this pattern. So all the painting is done. You can see where I've put the white and where I've made my bridges and what I'm going to cut away and what I'm not. So after this dries really well, then I can glue it to my pattern and I can scroll it out. So that's a quick down and dirty for how to convert something that you find that's not scrollable into something that is scrollable. This was a simple pattern for a simple exercise uh, just to give you an idea of what to do. Uh, you can do the same thing with complex drawings as well. You just have to be mindful of what you're going to cut and what you're not. The most important thing to consider is think this through before you put your pattern down on your piece of wood and start drilling your pilot holes. Otherwise, you run the risk of parts of it falling apart that you didn't want to. You've got to think the process through. Where am I going to cut? Where do I not need to cut? Where do I need to not cut so that I can keep this piece together and still maintain as much integrity as I can, but still come up with a cuttable design that looks nice once it's scrolled? It's really not that difficult. You just have to think about it and you have to think it through. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, live, laugh, love, and y'all come back.